It's one thing to hear about vets treated badly at VA hospitals. It's another to actually see how some of those vets are abused and neglected. Our next guest made sure that we could all see for ourselves. Here now, retired Marine Stephen McMenamin and his wife, Hannah. Uh, Stephen, first to you, I guess your hope is that these pictures are going to stir a response. What kind of response have you had so far? You know what, to be honest, uh, when we started this all out, we didn't expect really any response. Um, I honestly, as a veteran, am pretty used to seeing things similar to this. Uh, you kind of just look over it. My wife was the reason that it actually got posted because she was uh, actually very upset about it. She was uh, wow. uh, to the point of tears during the incident. Hannah, what um, happened that, that, that made you realize that, that these pictures could actually stir a response and maybe get some action done? Um, well, I think that a lot of people, they don't really have the chance or the reason to go into the VA themselves. So I feel like a lot of people just might not think about it. So I figured by putting a photograph to something that maybe countless amounts of veterans see every day might be a good way to raise some public awareness for it. Absolutely. Stephen, what, what are some of the backgrounds of these people that we're seeing? I, I, I saw one amputee there and some other people. Tell us a little bit about them. Um, I'm not too familiar with uh, a couple of them. We are familiar uh, with Jesse Lee. Jesse Lee is the uh, uh, one in the wheelchair uh, with the amputated leg. Uh, he uh, was Vietnam era. Um, you know, he's a real nice guy, and you know, he's been getting treatment from the VA uh, for quite some time now. So it, it's it's nothing new to him. It's kind of just how it happens. And what's um, your personal experience you know, with the VA? Um. You know, it's really hit or miss. The VA system as a whole, some of the care you get can be the best. Some of it, you know, quite honestly, is deplorable and the worst. You know, and it depends uh, so where you are. A lot, of, a lot of hospitals are not that bad. A lot of the VA hospitals, in fact, some are quite good. Uh, that's why some people think that maybe veterans, maybe we should get rid of the bureaucracy. It is the biggest civilian bureaucracy we have. Over 300,000 exactly. people there. Uh, about $180 billion a year. Maybe if we just give individual veterans a voucher and let them decide where to spend that money in what facility, it would be better off. What do you think? Exactly. I agree completely. Um, it's become overrun by paperwork and rules. And I mean, if you go to any other private hospital, it's not like that. And that's uh, people get the care they need at regular hospitals. Yeah. You go to the VA and they have mountains of paperwork they have to go through for each patient. And it has to be done in a certain way. Um, it's a bureaucratic I tried to make nightmare an appointment right? once. For, a lot of, for a lot of people. Yeah. Hannah, President Trump has specifically talked about cleaning up the VA. Do you think he'll be able to do it? Mm -hmm. Um, I feel pretty confident that he has good intentions to do it. I mean, obviously, time will tell, but I do have some faith that he will address the situation. What about you, Stephen, quickly? Uh, yeah, I, I really hope so. Um, he's, he's talked about it. I think there's a lot of things on his plate right now, so hopefully uh, he gets around to it. Um, you know, I don't think the changes that are needed, um, although drastic, I don't think they're very difficult to make. So hopefully uh, somewhere along the line he can get to, to doing some major change for us. Yeah, just getting rid of that bureaucracy. Stephen and Hannah McMenamin, exactly. thank you very much for the work that you've done. We really appreciate it.